Hello everybody, I'm Simon Lore here today to discuss the upcoming Fate Reforged pre-release event. This event looks to be a lot of fun, but it also has a lot of great storyline elements incorporated into it which helps describe what's going on in Tarkir lore-wise. So with that, let's take a look at what you'll get if you attend this pre-release event. Much like the Cons of Tarkir pre-release, the Fate Reforged event will allow you to choose one of the five different clans to represent. Each clan will have their own individualized event box containing the tools you'll need to proceed through the events themselves. These event boxes are similar to the Cons of Tarkir event boxes, so if you attended that pre-release, then you will already have an idea of what you're going to get. For those who are not aware, these event boxes are what you use to construct the deck which you'll use during the event. The boxes contain one sealed pack of randomized Fate Reforged cards specific to the clan of your choosing. This will help jumpstart your clan themed deck. Along with these specific cards, you'll also be given four normal packs of Fate Reforged, and one pack of Cons of Takir. The idea is to take your guaranteed clan cards and supplement them with the cards you get from the normal packs to build the best clan possible. Also found in these event boxes are some fun things, like a Fate Reforged spin down die, a button which bears the symbol of your chosen clan, and information sheets describing the event and the personality of the clans. The actual event itself holds a lot of storyline significance. You, the players, are on a journey from Sarkon Vol himself. He has sent you all back to a time where dragons still exist on Tarkir. It is up to you to find the ancient spirit dragon Ugin and help revive him before he is lost forever. Ugin has retreated to a cocoon in an attempt to heal the wounds he suffered at the hands of the evil dragon planeswalker Nicol Bolas. But, as our current history tells us, Ugin does not survive. The players must complete certain objectives in order to activate Hedron Stones, which can heal Ugin and break him from his cocoon, saving the lost dragons of Tarkir and changing history itself. All pre-release events will be given a special Ugin Cocoon Box and a list of objectives for players to complete in order to open the vault. There are three different levels of objectives, all of which must be completed before Ugin is restored. Each unlocking level requires different objectives to be met, these objectives will be fully disclosed during the event itself, but they will be simple in nature to complete. Some revealed objectives include playing a card with the manifest mechanic, or just attacking with a dragon creature. Unlocking these objectives cannot be done by an individual. At least half of the participating players in the event must complete the objective in order for the seals to be removed at each level. As players complete more of these objectives, Ugin becomes more revealed and eventually freed. When the final seal is removed, Ugin is restored, and the fate of Tarkir is changed forever. Each player will be rewarded with an exclusive Ugin's Fate Booster Pack, which contains four different cards. The packs will include a token, a basic land, a common, and an uncommon card from either Fate Reforged or Cons of Tarkir. All of these cards will have alternative art, showing how things have changed on Tarkir through your efforts. So, there you go guys, a simple examination of what's in store for the Fate Reforged pre-release event. It's really interesting how these events, and this one in particular, describe the storyline of the game through a unique game style. Fate Reforged looks to be an exciting set with a lot of storyline ramifications, and I can't wait to get my hands on the full story. In any case, I want to know what clans you guys out there are going to choose for this event. Let me know that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. As always. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.